I, I got to tell you, the, the position he's in there really bothers me because of the respiratory I it, it problems. Is. I mean, you really, well, you, you, the, your lungs expand. You don't realize how much your rib cage expands when you breathe. He can't breathe in that position. Know. You know, uh, the really scary uh, thing, the really scary thing that none of this shows is that the next day, he had broken so many blood vessels in his eyes okay, that his guys. eyes <gasps> looked like they were yes. bloody. Okay, you they got it. Like they were oh, my God. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. He was oh, struggling to no. breathe. That's what that is. That is Valsalva. That's the pressure building up oh. in above his above the diaphragm, above the neck, causing vessels to break in his eye and conjunctiva. That tells you tells you the whole story. Right. They're lucky they didn't end up. Yeah. I, I, well, I don't want to think of it. And, oh. Back to our OTC court battle. That's not on the case. It was a case of the elementary school principal who dragged the kindergartner down the hall. The whole thing caught on camera. First, your vote on Twitter. 69% of you against the principal. 31% thought the principal was right. And once again, my verdict was with the 69% against the principal. We're the adults. So we can do better. All right, check out hashtag on the case, and I'll select the tweet or Facebook comment that's made my decision on hashtag on the case. All right, let's get now to that disturbing police video, and it may be disturbing, may not be disturbing to you, but let's take a look at it. We've got Attorney Hundred Mark and uh, Mike Brooks with us, and Mike, you're the cop, yep. okay? Now yep. the cops get upset that this, this all is being videotaped, and they kind of turn their attention from what's happening here to the person recording them. I don't have a problem with it, Vinny. I don't have a problem with the person recording. All the action, all, everything is, uh, that's unlawful is going on in the middle of the street in downtown Towson, Maryland. This is Baltimore County Police Department. Uh, I've worked with Baltimore County Police before, a very professional organization. But in this particular case, the re uh, auxiliary sergeant, it's a, he's a volunteer. He's been one for 22 years with he's Baltimore County Police. He's experienced. He should know better. You can't come over and get in somebody's face nowadays. For videotaping, you know, if they're in the street, you can tell them to get out of the street, get up on the curb, but you can't tell them to stop using their phone. All right, let's take a listen now because it's not just the video, it's what they're saying back and forth that is so important here. I have my rights. I'm allowed to film. I have my rights. I'm allowed to film. Then get the hell out of here. Leave. I haven't done anything wrong. All right, watch them to leave. He doesn't have to leave. He doesn't have to leave. It's a public street, Vinny. I mean, he's observing, and the cop may not like that he's videotaping him because we all know videos and pictures hold us to a higher level of accountability. Yeah. He probably doesn't like it, but he's not doing anything wrong. All right, let's take a listen to a little bit more from that altercation. Have I committed a crime, sir? Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to go? No, 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 I do not. Do you well, go? man, dude, don't. I have done nothing here. Don't open your mouth. I thought I have complaints. I thought I have a freedom of speech. You don't. You've just lost it. Okay. I thought walk away. And I'm keep sorry. Your mouth shut. All right. Does the freedom of speech ever end? No. No. And I and I guarantee you, Baltimore County Police Chief Jim Johnson was okay, not officer, okay. too happy with this the actions of this particular auxiliary sergeant. All right. Now I believe in freedom of speech, freedom to record things on video uh, more than most. It's how I make my living. I speak my mind and I tell stories with video. I agree 100% that people should not and cannot be stopped from recording video in public places. I also believe it's valuable to have police actions recorded on video, whether it's dash cam or a citizen cell phone like this case, because it protects both the police and the citizens, and it helps us to ultimately get to the truth. Here's the one thing, though. Just don't be the guy who instigates or escalates a situation by throwing oil on the fire. You know, the best photojournalists record the story they don't become the story.